Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing another Monster Mash. So right now I am live on Twitch. You guys can go follow me at twitch.tv forward slash kmckeg. And today we are going to be making a fruit amul. I really want to do a fruit animal mash, and so I'm going to ask the Twitch chat to send me two animals and a couple of fruit suggestions, and we're going to merge them together to make a new creature today. All right, the Twitch chat has sent me a couple of different animal and fruit ideas and have voted, so let's go... I did so good the other day, and this is just karma. I always like have a real bad day where I can't verbalize. All right. <laughs> so the Twitch chat has voted after they sent me a bunch of really fun animal and fruit ideas. So let's go through and see what they picked today. So for animal one, we either had a hummingbird, a leopard gecko, a sea sponge, or a manta ray. And the results are a manta ray. Ooh, that was close, real close to hummingbird. So we got a manta ray. Next up for animal two, we have a sun bear, a horny toad, a praying mantis, or a Komodo dragon. And the results are a praying mantis. That's gonna be really cool. A manta ray and a praying mantis. Ooh, I don't know what we're gonna do with this one, but let's see what fruit we get. And then that will help us kind of maybe try to picture what this is gonna be. Um, but for the fruits, we had either a star fruit, watermelon, pomelo, mango, or dragon fruit. And the result is a, oh, tie between a star fruit and a dragon fruit. So the Twitch chat let me know. I completely forgot about my dragon fruit newt that I did forever ago. Um, so we're gonna just go ahead. I'm just gonna call it. We're gonna do a star fruit because since we've done a dragon fruit in the past, let's just do a star fruit. So today we got a star fruit mixed with a praying mantis and a manta ray. So this is gonna be interesting to figure out. Let me get some references and try to figure out how to sketch this. Ooh, I think it's gonna look really pretty. I could see this being a very majestic and pretty creature, but we gotta figure out how to do it first. So let me collect some references, get some sketches going, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we are all done with this initial rough sketching and I really like this first concept here. Um, I know like two and three, I struggled with a little bit to just try to think of another concept we could do to run with this, but I just was so instantly attracted to this first one that I really wanna run with it. I think I might carry over a couple different things from the other designs, just some little design bits, but I just, I really feel strongly about this one. I think. It, it's a good incorporation of both the mantis and the manta ray, and then I can highlight the star fruit shape and color. So I'm totally gonna go with this first one. So what I'm gonna do, I'll go ahead and redraw this, try to get in a nice pose to highlight a lot of the uh, aspects and characteristics of it. I'm kind of digging the pose it's already in a little bit. I'm just gonna try to change it a little bit, but I wanna make sure to get a good shot of those wings and the head and all of that. So let me jump in, get the sketch going, and we'll have a done piece here in a minute. I'll see you guys soon. I've noticed every time I start these type of segments, I either start with so or all right. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying it a little differently. We're starting it technically a little different. Like I didn't technically start with so, so that's an improvement. <laughs> I know that's one of my fatal flaws with uh, 
speaking to uh, like my voiceovers and such. I mean, it's not terrible, I guess, because none of you have pointed it out, but I at least noticed it <laughs> every time I edit these or any of my speed paint videos. I'm like, wow, I start with all right and so a ton. So I'm gonna keep that in mind for myself. But anyway, we're jumping into this piece and this one was a really fun one to do. Um, I think my favorite thing about doing these things on Twitch is, I think I talk about it in the outro as well, is just how random and perfect these are at the same time. Basically, if I was to sit down and brainstorm a beast on my own, um, I mean, if I was given a prompt or an idea of what to do or just a general guidelines, like, yeah, sure, I could deliver and make a monster um, to fit a certain look or a theme, great. But these are just so out of left field, they're an amazing way to just flex some monster muscles because I mean, who would think, I mean, uh, Mantis and Manta Ray, the, the names go together really well to make a Mantis Ray. So maybe that would be a hint for someone to make this. But I mean, I don't think, you know, a lot of people would just be like, you know what would be good with this? A star fruit, because I know for sure I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I barely have any interaction with this fruit as it is. Just being in Arizona, it's a lot more rare to get it here. I think I can get it at the Asian market up the road from my house. I might be able to get it there during certain times of the year, but I've never like really like gone and tried to find it because I have no clue when it's ripe. I don't know what it looks like when it's good to eat or anything like that. It's just not a common fruit for me in this area. So then for sure it was not at the top of my mind when I was like, yeah, let's do a food -mole, or like specifically a fruit -mole. Like what fruit should we do? And I guess it's the same with the dragon fruit. I think I only know that because I like dragons and I really like the design and the texture of that fruit. But a star fruit is a lot more left field for me. But honestly, it lends super well. Like it's again, one of those happy accidents of like, wow, yellow goes beautifully with some of the colors from mantises, like the greens and the oranges that you can see in a couple of mantis. And I mean, there's some really exotic and beautiful mantis out there, like um, the orchid mantis. And then um, I think it's, uh, is there like a leaf one too? I don't know what they're all named, but I have seen some pictures and they are beautiful. So they do have the possibility for some amazing colors, but I just think it works so well to have amazing colors comboed with a really fun mash. And like I said, I probably wouldn't think of this right away or even at all, just cause I was like, star fruit with this probably would never have happened. <laughs> but I, I super enjoy these and I wanna do another plug here cause I talk about it in the beginning, but I've been getting really consistent on Twitch. So I feel pretty confident telling you guys times that I will be on. So I post it in the community tabs here on YouTube. I also post it on my Twitter and my Instagram and on my Discord. Um, but I have been consistently streaming Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Basically, it's Arizona time um, when this video comes out. I think we're still on Pacific time. So basically, it's that time zone. But Mountain Standard Time is your best bet. Um, but yeah, every Saturday, Sunday, I get together with the Twitch community. We hang out. We don't always do like monster mashes or like um, these type of activities, but right now I'm updating my portfolio. So if you guys wanna come hang out over on Twitch, I'd really appreciate it if you come give me a follow, come support me over there as well. Um, but I'm trying to get my portfolio updated. I had an amazing portfolio review recently for my monster art specifically, and I have basically been given like footnotes on how to improve my portfolio. Like it's not like work on this type of anatomy or do this or that. It's like make your pieces laid out like this and you're good. So I am working my butt off every weekend for October to work on that. And I know I'm doing OC Tober as well coming up. Um, but specifically, if you wanna hang out and watch me work on my monster art and portfolios, I'll be doing it every Saturday and Sunday in October, starting at 10 a.m. So I'd love to see you guys there. Anyway, out of the way with the plug. Uh, this one, like I said, awesome. I, I, I can't say it enough. Like, it's just such a fun concept to think on Twitch, but let's think of like some back lore for this one, shall we? All right, so 
I talk about it in the end card as well. But uh, we were talking on the Twitch chat that this for sure looks like some type of tropical fish that lives off the reefs of like an Australia type continent, like, or even just Australia. We could just say it is in our world type of thing. Um, and it just looks like a beautiful, bright colored tropical fish that would live on the reefs. Now, I don't think this would be the top primary like hunter for sure because um i know that stingrays i'm sorry if i mix this up because i always say either krill or plankton and i know they're different but my brain can't remember which one is which for what they eat um but with the uh manta ray i know they're more like filter feeders and then praying mantis for sure will catch and eat their food so i'm thinking this one just based off anatomy would be more of a catch and grab um, so it would probably swim after its prey and try to latch on to the different fish and creatures that are swimming around the reef with those like mantis talons, I guess you could call them. Um, and that's how it would get its food and hunt. But I don't think it would be like the top predator. I think this would probably be uh, sought after by some different sharks. So this would be probably a big tasty meal. I actually don't know who the main predators of like real life manta rays are. I feel it might be sharks, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm now curious who eats manta ray because <laughs> then that creature would probably eat this creature. Um, and then in my like story, like in my actual book for like my creature compendium, my husband had me design a Leviathan which is this giant, amazing, awesome turtle monster. If you wanna pick up the creature compendium, here's a link to my shop. There's a digital and physical copy, but I could totally see this also being on the food chain for that. Like if there was a squad of these just like hanging around, like maybe they go out further into the sea, the sea to mate or like whatever, they would just be gobbled up by that Leviathan. It would be game over. <laughs> uh, they probably stay close to the reef to be uh, basically protected by the colors of it, blend in a bit more, and stay away from predators. All right, and we are all done with this Monster Mash, and I think this turned out really awesome. Uh, I had so much fun combining these different creatures and the star fruit. It was just such a fun combo, like to do a mantis and a manta ray. It just works so well. And then adding kind of like the tropical colors by adding in the star fruit, it just, it all worked together so well. And I think this is probably one of my new favorite mashes. It's just so interesting and like, it's just so cool. It looks like a really awesome tropical fish that would live on a reef, maybe somewhere off the coast of Australia. We were talking about it a bit on Twitch and it just, it looks like something that would be really cool amongst like other exotic and awesome fish and among like among the coral reef. I think it would look really awesome. And today I tried to do a background. I don't do backgrounds very often, but the Twitch chat encouraged me to try it out. And I'm glad I did. It's like still not my strong suit, but I still want to get better at backgrounds, especially since I'm trying to make a comic. I'm like, you can't, you can't avoid backgrounds in comics. So I really like how it looks. I tried to keep it a little bit simple. So then you really got the highlight of the creature and I like it. I really like it. And I'd love to see how you guys would interpret this too. Please, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, try doing this mash yourself. Try making a starfruit mantis manta ray. I bet you guys could think of some other amazing, awesome combos. But either way, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, join our little community. Also uh, leave a comment down below of what you think of this. And uh, I'd really appreciate a like on this video too. If you like this Monster Mash, it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. So please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the above. But either way, thank you guys so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody. Hey, I wanna just take a quick second and thank my patrons over on Patreon. We have officially rolled out the new tier. So if you guys would like to support me and the channel, go check out my Patreon. Again, thank you to all of my lovely and wonderful patrons. So the Twitch chat has voted and sent me a lot of different animal and fruit suggestions. So let's go. S Ugh, I'm getting tongue tongue tied today. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Seashell, see, she sells, she, fuck. She sells seashells by the seashore. Rubber baby buggy bumpers.